guys welcome back to electrical car repair life thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel if you guys have a mazda cx7 that you turn the key on and the car does not start at all doesn't crank doesn't start we'll explain guys what you need to check okay that's a that could be a very hidden issue okay and you may think okay it's a starter relay maybe it's a starter fuse but it could be something else as well so stay with us guys and we'll explain what it could be today in addition, quick introduction guys, we'll have more than 200 videos on this car and every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video and leave a comment below, let us know if the video was helpful. So let's start on it now. So let me show you now, we'll go inside and I'll attempt to start the car and I'll show you what happens now. Okay, let me turn the light on so you can see a little bit better. Key in, listen now. Nothing guys. So let us explain you what could be and we'll go ahead pop the hood open and we're going to start looking at the uh, fuse box of the vehicle. So we need to open the hood of your Mazda CX-7 guys. Next to your car battery right here we have a fuse box. Okay we need to open it okay by pressing that uh, tap to the front, pull the box, the cover to the front and then up and you get it out. Now. What will be the reason guys, okay, what will be the reason for the car not uh, cranking, okay. Now, number one reason guys, uh, fuse for the starter and relay for the starter. Now we'll show you guys on this Mazda, on most of them you can see under the cover like this Mazda CX-7 here guys. You can see somewhere uh, it, uh, it will say like, a, okay, ignition key, fuse, okay, this could be for the starter. Uh, you're going to see a few more guys, okay, ignition key right here. We have a starter relay, okay, right here. Okay, this is a starter relay. And uh, we will explain guys what we, what we need to check. Now, first on that Mazda CX-7, we're going to go ahead and open that cover right here. One of the fuses guys, the second fuse, it says ignition key guys. So that could be a problem right there. But make sure you stand till the end because I'll share more information with you or what could be the reason for that. So we have that voltmeter guys, this is amazing voltmeter, check it out, you can find the link in the description of the video below. It's amazing, very accurate with the true RMS voltmeter. So if I set it to uh, read resistance, when I check that fuse here guys, if it's a good fuse it should give me a zero number, because there will be like almost like no, no resistance and it will go from uh, there will be connection from one end of the, the fuse to the other one and ours is good so that's not the problem guys now we checked our relay the relay for the starter is this one right here we checked it it's fine and we're still not uh, getting anything because that relay is the same as the heater blower motor fan so i replaced them with one another and we didn't get anything guys so what could be the reason now for that okay we need to guys start looking at it more and sometimes you have a second relay for the starter in our case it's this one right here on that cx7 okay it says starter starter relay number two okay 80 main so that could be as well another thing guys okay uh, we're going to go ahead okay and pop that fuse right here it says ignition key number two so i'm going to remove that fuse guys okay and i'm going to check this fuse as well the same thing if it's a good fuse it should give us a zero if it's a bad fuse okay i, I actually i accidentally caught the thing with my hand the probe so you need to make sure that you don't catch the metal nothing so that's a bad fuse guys i'm going to go ahead and replace that one quick okay and let me explain a few more things to see if that's the only case now okay you need to check guys and see everywhere okay let me grab the camera so i can focus here everywhere guys that says okay for instance engine relay okay or pcs etc ecm anything like that check it guys ecm engine control module it could be this one as well and you have some hidden fuses guys okay inside usually and one of those fuses could be for that as well like uh, usually you have them printed here but one of them says uh, okay on one of them it said about engine 15 amp fuse so if that is bad your car may not start as well 
So check all the fuses that relate to engine guys and all the relays. And in our case that was for the ignition key. Now if you still don't get anything guys I'm going to explain what else it could be. It could be a bad key or a bad immobilizer and we have the video on the channel how to test that. How to test your key and immobilizer. Not very complicated. It takes only a few minutes uh, with the right equipment and you can see if the key is the problem. So I'll go in now and we'll see if that fuse that said ignition key will fix our problem. So you can see the car started with no problem. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.